And we need to protect the interests of the students who are still living. Mr. Moderator, for parents to have children for nine months, and they raise their children for about 11 years again, and the children being killed brutally, is painful, Mr. Moderator. So this is a time for retrospect in this country, Mr. Moderator. It's painful. Yesterday, I have not been... I ate today in, during noon. At noon, sorry. I ate today at noon. I've not been able to take breakfast in the morning. It pains. The memory of these children are in my mind as a teacher who have taught children in primary school to understand the memory of a teacher who teaches in, in, in university. To enter your classroom and you do not see your children the next day, it pains the heart, it bleeds. Politicians might not understand. It is high time we solve the anglophone problem. Thank you so much, Dr. Uh, S.A. Kufo, we want to still continue talking about the school environment. And the non-state actors should drop their guns. Do you, do, do you foresee that school is going to continue on Tuesday? Yeah, school will go on. That is why I am out to encourage parents encourage the society the young men and women the, their communities are looking up to them and they are the people to give the security for themselves okay. their families and their friends you see it is better than you to be killed by illiteracy mm. you should better just die in another dimension what is the purpose of going to school uh going to die no. it, it, it is it has never been you go to school to become enlightened so that you can be better fit in the society. How people to and found death on, on the stretch of the route? Mr. Njomo, we know what has been going on in the country. And putting that kind of question to me, I don't know what you're expecting. But let me, let me come in, Mr. Njomo. The key purpose of, a school, of schooling, like you and my humble self went to school, was to become enlightened, which we are today. And that gives you, it makes you the pride of the family, the pride of your society, the pride of your community, the pride of your nation. And internationally, the nation can be proud because they gave education, sound education to young men of our, of our sort who can represent the nation internationally. But some people are using school boycott like their own bargain. For That's what I am crisis. saying that human rights are inalienable, which means you cannot strip someone from that right. It is a right from birth. We want to see that when humans convince themselves in order to come to the, uh, the, the declaration of human rights, is because people have to look different ways where we have to live, coexist, and what you ought to do and what you ought not to do. That's why I want to say there are human rights that we come to adopt them, that each and every person must benefit from that right. As long as you hold your own obligations, you should benefit. So if you have to seize my right because you are fighting for years, then I totally disagree because we cannot be living in a society where a single opinion must be that opinion that dominates. A society that cannot carry different contexts of opinion, then you yourself, you are not being for leadership. Because leadership, even in a crew that we lead, you have even people under you that you sponsor, you feed, they insult you, they gossip you, they backbite you. But that is what we talk. The aspect of leadership is harmonizing these ideas. And the best way you struggle to explain yourself by struggling to do things that they themselves will see where they went wrong and some come to apologize. But if you think that the best way is if you pass your orders and somebody cannot take, in, take, take those orders, you have to kill. Mr. Njomo, I am saying that it is wrong and enough is enough. I want to say that the population is tired and it is high time we stop going with hashtag stop anglophone crisis. That isn't enough. Stopping anglophone crisis, they are saying nothing. It's a statement that is not directed. The actors, the perpetrators of this act should be called by name. Mr. Njomo, it is better to die as a brave person than to die as a coward. What we, want, what we want to say, cowardice have infiltrated the mind of the youth in such a way that they feel. I want to say that the act of killing that is going on. This student never insulted any person. This student have never sat anywhere to talk politics like my humble self and other people. They know nothing. They are not of um, voting age. They are not politicians. They know nothing. They don't even know what is going on in the country. All what they know is going on in the country that there are days their parents will say don't go to school. And there are days that we are gunshot around the area. If you ask those children who died to explain to you what is actually going on in Cameroon, they cannot even explain. So for them to be killed, it means every person is a potential victim. And we must step up. If there's one thing in days to come that we are going to have a press conference under the strength of the youth movement, we may be asking the minister to legalize guns again. The individuals we can be in possession of our gun. We want to think that we need to beef our security and we must be ready and able for any counter danger. Mr. Item, um, 
everybody is decrying the, the violence. Do you think the perpetrators are seeing their right senses? Four years ago, the average age in the separatist uh, uh, group was 16 to 17. Four years, the government has not really brought meaningful solution, and they are now 20 to 21. Do you think they have not been um, radicalized to an extent that human life does not mean anything to them again? Uh, Mr. Njomo, that question is too technical for me to answer. I would like to tell you that uh, on this platform, I'm not going to put point fingers. Okay. That is the blame game that at the start of this program I have denounced. Okay. Because uh, once it comes into armed conflict, it is so ambiguous that you don't know the perpetrator except the person uh, uh, really uh, comes and confesses. That is why. But that, 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 that is why. When, when, that, that is why. When you take it from the previous uh, panelists, he, he said these perpetrators are amongst the people. But and we know the regular army no, does not live among the people. No, no, you cannot say the regular army does not live among the people. Do they live in the bushes? No, they, they have their barracks. They have their barracks, but who do they protect? Do they stay in their barracks and feed? Look, I am not blaming the military. I don't want to blame the military or the amber. What I'm saying is that any human being, before you became an amber, before you became a military, you have had that ordinary. Mr. Person. Your message is directed to who tonight. No, if you are not directed to the audience, who let, is the let audience? me tell you, okay, we cannot on. come to this platform to start painting uh, one fraction black. And the truth is, the government has that uh, that right to protect the citizens. Right. And they have turned one of the fraction who they call amber terrorists. Okay. Now, I don't know. It, there have been many incidents. That, that is what takes me to the Gabo incident. Okay. You, can, you can still go to, to the killing of Ayafo yes. and many others. You, you go to, to Munyenge, mm. you go to uh, Ekata mm. and many others. Muyuka, the Muyuka and the rest. The question is, if you go to detail, who kills who? Mm. There are many videos that have circulated. I don't know a, milit any military that I can start pointing fingers or any amber that I can start pointing fingers. But you see human beings who are f fisting on human being cops. So that is why I say that I don't want to direct okay. hate speech the second on part, any, the anybody. The second part of my any question is being, about this. Human their stake of mind. What is the stake of mind that can push somebody to, to commit that kind of act? Mm. The stake of mind that can push somebody to commit that kind of act is simply frustration. Mm. Once you feel that you are frustrated and there is no way out, and secondly, once you intoxicate yourself okay. with marijuana and the rest, Automatically, you are you you, you 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 don't reason any longer, and any, nothing matters to you anymore. Okay. And that is why where you can start committing those kind of uh, gruesome acts. Okay. And let me say that any people any people that do not value humanity, like S K Kufo did not mention, anybody who does not matter the sacredness, the sanctity of man, is doomed. Okay. You are doomed because you. you the no stone goes up without coming down. Yes, I, you are I, going to die the same way. Doctor, I want to I want to bring you faster into this discussion. But before I do that, please permit me, let me take this message. Good evening to you, dear panelists. I am Richard in Boya. I wish to ask the question: Where were the teachers when the shooting were happening? Where were the forces of law and others? Because I learned the security situation in Cameroon is under control. Doctor, you might like to answer this I earlier asked, I earlier said something of that sort. I earlier said yeah, that where were the teachers? That these children were just vulnerable and running for their lives. There is, we need thorough investigation, sir. We need thorough investigation. That's all we can say because I've asked, where were the gatekeeper? Where were the administrators of this school? Where were the teachers? Where were the security around that area? We need thorough investigation. So I want the second part of my question was definitely about the, the future. Can we have the courage to go about our activities knowing that if the sake of mind of the perpetrators have reached an we extreme have to, situation... We have to be courageous and we need to prov they need to provide. It's high time this uh, killing stops. That's the truth. We just have to be courageous, like he is said. It, it. Is it, does it suffice it's, to sit it on the platform from, and just declare it, it like no, that? Truth, the truth is that uh, okay. Mr. Njomo Siri is an issue of psychology, the mind. The mind is some, it starts from your perception, the way you see things. And I think that our perception has to change. We have to be brave. We have, must have courage while looking for our self-defense. It is a collective way. It's, we must bring in collective measures in community whereby we must look for solutions. That is the truth. 
Like what happened in Kumba today? They were brave. The people, the denizens of Kumba were brave a lot I to think come the out. Are there, to they, come out today. The house can they from, the, the, the city, the newly elected city mayor, uh, the, the 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 front of Bafour and others came out today. They were marching in their normals, mourning and saying that enough is enough. It's high time, Mr. Moderator. This crisis is entering its fifth year. We will not continue to live like this in pain. The common man is in pain. The common man is the one suffering. When two elephants are fighting, the grass suffer. The grass is saying that enough is enough. You could see people with placards. They have, write, they have written messages. And they are telling you that enough is enough. Whether you are this or you are that, you are A or B, the people are saying that enough is enough. It is time for us to be courageous. Our life cannot continue in pain still. Thanks. We uh, are living, especially for, those in the community. I'll be back. Yes. Except our life cannot uh, remain in pain. Enough is enough. Uh, yes, our stop. last, uh, our last, uh, uh, talk, um, I mean, points tonight. And I want to ask you, uh, what do you expect from the government? Um, the first thing, the government must be able to sanction persons who are struggling to stigmatize and incite division. Because as much as we cherish national solidarity and unity, we are also expected to be respected. We should want to believe that some unscrupulous politician like Kabra Libi, the statement he's making is kind of very provocative. When you supporting the government, no, uh, I'm, we cannot I'm, rubbish down I'm, I'm coming. the major national dialogue I'm simply because we have revendication. That's I'm what coming. this is. To, to start asking for a state of emergency. It is something for a state of emergency to be declared. A lot of things have to be taken into consideration. Okay. I want to say that we don't think that we have to be kitsch okay. in a modern world where we are struggling to defeat coronavirus we know so has been going under an economic stagnation, financial difficulties and other aspects, and coronavirus being an extra burden. At the time, the people are struggling to revive themselves to see how they can fit themselves back into these double challenges. And you're asking that the government should impose because a state of emergency but is... But that's for Kanto is under house yes, simply because they call for the liberation of the anglophone in this no, country. So which way is the safer way? No, Kanto... If you go the Kabwa way, people blame you. Go the Kanto way, um, people blame you. What, what is the thank, safer way? Thank you very much. Let me react to Mr. Kanto. Mr. Kanto is a, a self-individual and a greedy politician who to me in his, the house arrest is not enough. He should be transferred to Kondengi because he has a self-centralized agenda to cause a coup d'etat in this nation, which would think that Cameroon does not need more bloodshed at the moment. I uh, still wonder why the government is pampering <laughs> him to this level, still keeping him in the house. And to an aspect up to now, uh, uh, up to now, there have not even been a declarative statement that a warrant was signed for him. So it's just out of fear for the deception he led but the youth he's not into. Able to go about his activities. No person has stopped him. He came the other day to his door. I don't think anyone stopped him from going. He spoke with people who came to his house. So he's just being feared that. He has misled the youth, and maybe he may be hunted back in the street. No, Coming back to the program at hand, I want to say that we, the Anglophone, we are a people with a genuine background. And like the last time I said it in a panel that there's a difference between an Anglophone and an Amazonian. The best way for Anglophones to describe themselves, you always hear the talk, former uh, Southern Cameroonians, which we are talking people of the English background. And the whole English background cannot be stigmatized because there is a difference of ideologies within the anglophone community at the moment you have people who believe in separation is their right to believe in separation that is why i want to think that what in the future terms the government should be doing is to legalize debate where separatists can put forth their ideas let it be the strength of an argument let it be the strength of an argument and not an argument of strength um, artists have equally invited themselves into this discussion Magasco, uh, uh, um, Tizi Pansa and others actually made their voice heard recently uh, that they are going to come.